Do better, see, do better today on Do by the River. We're thought we're back. we're talking kits, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you dare go anywhere because we're giving our reaction to the brand new Philadelphia Beauty Kits. And don't you dare go anywhere because you do not want to miss this episode of Do by the River. And let's get it started, guys. Eh, done. Do by the river. Doesn't do anything well. There is not one. I I'm sorry. There was no creativity. As a union fan, I take that all day. Another DP. We need to go get Mario Balotelli. And that is right. Welcome, everyone, to Do by the River, the show where we follow everything Philadelphia Union. Of course, we are brought to you by Philly Sports Network. Before we dive into today's episode of Do by the River, Oh, thank you so much for tuning on in. If you're watching live on Enfado Philly's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys hit that live the like button and, and subscribe for all your further viewings of Duke by the River. And you can find us wherever you stream podcasts from Apple, Google, and Spotify. Find us under Duke by the River Podcast. And let me introduce you today, our experts in duping. Please welcome back our boy with up with this background is beautiful. Welcome Tim Loving Goo. Timmy boy, how are we feeling, brother? I mean, you know, tired as we uh, we all talked pre-show. Uh, we're we're all pretty tired, but no, uh, I'm I'm excited. Like, you know, MLS is pretty much back. We got new kits to talk about. I mean, I I don't know. I've been like in and out of all this stuff. Like, but I don't even know if we're are we doing predictions today? Like, what are we doing? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> we're 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 uh. I got a I got a crazy one. Crazy guess. We're we're talking soccer. Oh, I think that's what we're gonna do here. Yes, <laughs> I like to. What we do here, ladies and gentlemen, and then of course, please welcome our man. So proud of this guy. Ah, I love this man. Please welcome Justin, alcohol distribution agent, Freiburg. Justin, what's going on, brother? Not much. Uh, like Tim said, you know, just just tired. It, it, it's been a uh, a busy start to the year for uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, but the one good thing about you know. The time with you know the World Cup and, and coming is uh, you know we knew MLS was right around the corner, and you know news when it comes to jerseys transfers has been hot and heavy, <laughs> and you know I mean we are just over a week out from the home and season opener, and I'm not even sure I've still wrapped my head around the fact that come this time next week my my butt will be right back in the river end as it should be that's that's where we all belong brother this is this this pot this podcast i hope that it can distract some people from everyday life because obviously listen it's a little bit stressful I mean, all, all the three of us we got our day-to-days but you know we can always put a smile on our face and talk about the union that's what we're going to do here and gentlemen i really need this and i know you guys use as well because after what i dealt with sunday Oh, the flashbacks of Gareth Bale and and, and Jordan Alvarez, you know, it, it creeped back up, but it, it's the start of something new because the union are back. But before we get into that, guys, I want to talk about the kids. Are you guys ready to talk some kids? It's this episode's for you, Justin. <laughs> it's all about the kids, brother. <laughs> of course, always down to talk uh, some uh, some beautiful kids. All right, so I want to break this down, though, guys. Right, so. Um, here is the kit, as we have all seen on social media, the brand new kit. They even shout out Mike Thomas, you know, but it's about damn time. We got the Thomas <laughs> logo uh, right here in the center. Um, but I want to break this down into two things, guys, because the, the two predominant things with this kit, um, number one is the camo, and that's where I want to start off first. So for everyone who's not aware, camo came from this beautiful 2019 mantra. It wasn't just this kit, but it was the whole theme of that season or that playoff run the philly or nothing you saw a lot of the camo um it was in the crest of this warm-up kit that if for those who weren't fans of 2019 this was the warm-up kit in the red bull game our first playoff win the camo you could see here in the crest and then of course uh these shoes which sold like hotcakes um also you could see the camo in there as well so that's where the camo comes from there was a success with that so they just decided to bring it back here and let's go with another risk kind of like 2020 uh, or the 2020 2021 away kit, the buy use, same thing, risk. You, you get it here with this one as well. Um, so, first off, I want to get your thoughts, guys. Uh, just let's start off with you, man. The camo. Are you down with the camo, my dude? 
Yeah, you know, it. it I, I mean, I did. I didn't even realize it was a was a camo uh, d- design. My first uh, one of the first memes I think I saw, and it so true was the <laughs> intro uh, to the Simpsons. So now in my head, I've been saying the union. That might and, be a that might be a champ, brother. I like it. Hey, listen, you know if we, uh, I mean, listen, we 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 we'll have us recording, uh, uh, union or anybody if we use this, uh, you know, throw a little a uh, little little cheddar, uh, <laughs> our 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 way. Just just saying, you know, uh, you know, any, any anything else? Uh, no, um, it it does kind of like I I do see the 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 camo to me it's kind of like at least remind me of like like smoke adjusting. bomb like the clouds like the, like, <laughs> and the, like that was my first thought was yeah right like it kind of it'll you'll have the, you'll be thinking that in your head now for for the longest time and for those um, who listen on the podcast we do have it posted up here we have the clouds next okay it's pretty close but yeah like it it looks you know it, it kind of does give you that that cloud or smoke bomb vibe uh, for anyone who has ever stood behind the smoke bombs, uh, like myself on, on occasions, uh, your shirt may end up looking like that. Um, but I, I like it. I, I, I know people, people for some reason have, have been uh, like, it, it's been fairly mixed. Uh, I, I, you know, at, at this point, I'm, I'm glad that they went with a, you know, I mean, you know, the blue camo kind of goes in there, but I'm glad they went back to kind of a, a predominantly gold uh, color. I like this gold better than I know. I, I love my old my old kit from the beginning. I, I know that that yellow is iconic, but I like this gold better. I think this is kind of the yellow that they've been running with for a while. Um, it, it's something that it, it kind of gives it that bleached vibe. You know, like like yeah. it, it kind of looks like like a bleach shirt that you accidentally threw, you know, threw a bit of bleach in the in the washer, and you're like, oh no, the shirt's ruined. Um, does a bit remind me kind of the of a lighter version of the Leeds kit. Like, you kind of get those like a, 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 there's a lot of things that I, I think uh, in this kit. The the thing for me that I love the most, and it's kind of a continuing uh, continuation of the last few years. The sponsor does not stand out. It, mm-hmm. it, it I, I do love that it is a darker blue. You kind of see how you know. The, first of all, again, I love that the the, you know, the restructured deal with 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 Beanbo uh, Bread that you are allowed to use. Dude, the be so they've used Artisano. They've now used Thomas's English muffins. Uh, which I mean, I hope that means that we get some Thomas's English muffins. Delicious, by the way. Whoever, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, Fa- fantastic, fantastic. Uh, uh, for me, it's the if you you know the the blue the, uh, the accents on the shoulders, but I think what kind of brings it all together, if you look at the sleeves, you'll see that dark blue, the same dark blue that is screaming it. With a kind of a looks like a lighter blue kind of accenting that around the top. That I th- I think that's a subtle touch, and it's the same thing you see it on the neckline as well. I think that is fantastic. I think that the subtle things like that, even for me who who loves ridiculously complicated jerseys and you know over the top designs, I think the subtle touches like that, those little accents, really kind of pull it together. And as you know, and as as Ryan said, it's like '90s acid wash, and I love how Gosdog is kind of wearing those kind of acid wash, you know, ripped rip jeans. Like, I think overall, the vibe, the aesthetic that they've been they're going for, it works. It, it works for the purposes. Like, overall, it it brings it together for obviously the number of reasons. Yeah, like you can see, you can you can see the collar. Sorry, and that was can, a blurry pick. You can see the dark blue, and then you can slightly see the blue accent kind of on the side. It, I, I think overall it is pulled together very well. And once again, the design council is knocking it out of the park. Um, Tim, for you, the the you know, it, camo is not something we've used predominantly for clubs fishery. Uh, what, what's your feeling towards it, man? Um. 
I think I'm sort of like Justin when I first saw it. Um, I definitely didn't like it didn't scream camo at me. Like obviously when you start looking at it and dissecting it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely supposed to be like a camouflage type of kit. Um, so I, I, I like it. I mean, it's, it's definitely different. And I like that the union and the, the council is working with Adidas. And I don't know if they're like kind of pressuring them to be, you know, to go against the norm. Um, but if they are, it's working. Like it's worked the last few seasons. I uh, think, I yeah. think what they've been doing is like, they're kind of giving them, okay, here's the prompts. Here's kind of what mm -hmm. we would like, like, I, from my understanding that the camo was the okay here's the basic prompt do what you can with you know with that and i think that's what it how it shows that you you may not even notice it because the the color scheme that works is not mm -hmm. something traditionally that you would you would, would associate with camo right uh, yeah it worked really well and I'll, i will say real quick um my favorite part is actually the back of the jersey because it's all gold and i love nice. the gold like accents for Philly, like there has not been enough gold. Um, I know that there there hasn't been because of the the original away jersey making everyone look like they were naked. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think the fact that this one kind of has that like acid wash feel, like we were saying, like makes it look almost kind of like a tan. So I, I don't know. Um, but I, the the accent with uh, the all gold back and the blue shorts, uh, it makes it the blue shorts. It, it oh, looks nice. very good. Um, I, 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 I am with you that. though, Johnny. I don't like the I don't like the blue socks. I don't like that. Um, I wish it were gold, but you know, it is what it is uh, at, at that point. But I thought I had a picture of it. Um, yeah. So to your point, though, Tim, I wanted to bring up. I, I do think that what really helps in this kit collective team is that we do have actual fashion designers in the group. Okay. And as you guys know, soccer kits are more lifestyle now than ever before. And, and so I think by having that perspective, it helps with that because these shirts are profitable because they just look goddamn sexy. Um, and so I really do think having those people kind of giving that lifestyle, you know, yeah. uh, feel to it. I think that's what really does help for sure, man. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch upon, gentlemen, that was a big part of this kit was um, if you guys notice the crest is a little bit different. <laughs> um, I can actually pull up the the traditional crest here. But obviously, you know, I pull it up right here in the top right, on, but we're on Tim's screen. That is a traditional crest. So obviously the main difference is that it's just a snake. It's very minimal. Mm -hmm. Now, I know how our fan base is, and, I, and, I, and that's why I love them. But this is obviously kind of a, a kind of a big change. You know, it's a crest that we've always had on the kit. Even in the Bayou kits, it was still the same thing, just different coloring. Um, yeah. So, Tim, does this bother you at all, or are you okay with a direction like this, a minimal crest? Um, it, it doesn't bother me. I think, um, cause technically isn't this the quote unquote, like the secondary logo or whatever that, you know, how, like when they did the, the slight union yeah. rebrand back a few years ago, how they're like, yeah, okay, the crest is the crest. And then there's the secondary, which I believe is just the snake. And then they have yeah. like, the watermark, which is like the PHL union with the snake in the middle or whatever. So I think they're just kind of going for that, that secondary look. And like you said, it's, it's minimal, like, but it's, it's clean like it fits with what this kit is um i think because it's supposed to i think it's supposed to look you know more laid back um and yeah i don't know i, I like it i like that it's like that and if you ask the average mls fan they'll still know what team that is yeah so i, I don't think that takes away but for you justin um any thoughts on the crest change there i mean if if you've really been you know if people have been paying attention They've been using this and a number of things for yeah. going back to 2019. You know, 2018, 2019 is kind of when they started to kind of come up with. I mean, I mean, the the snake itself is is on countless sweatshirts and shirts. It, it's something that they've been using. So I think you're not going to look at this kit and go, "Oh, what team is playing?" You look at the snake and go, "Oh, it's the Union," because. Sure enough, especially at a home game, you'll see Fang. You know, walking in. It's like, oh, the team that has a snake as their mascot. Like, like I think it's gonna be pretty obvious. Um, I think the snake is subtle. Again, with with the sponsor, it is that dark that dark blue, but it doesn't stand out on the jersey. Like, it doesn't detract from the design on the kit. And I think for a lot of the features on the jersey. 
having you know those accent lines and all that stuff not really it still pulls your eye but it doesn't distract you from the main point of the jersey i think the fact that this logo is just simplified as is i think allows the jersey more to speak for itself than other logos which is why i'm absolutely fine with this and i think it i think it makes it even better that they went with this logo on this kit you know what's kind of interesting too with it it's that that like the actual logo of the snake has been used on kits, I think all the way back in like as, as early as 2012, 2013, because like uh, I, you guys can't see it, but the, the one behind me above uh, Gaddis is the little snake. Like they had it as like the back tag and that was the 2012, 2013 away Jersey. Um, and I think they had it on the home one too. So like they, they've had this logo out there, you know, uh, it's not like it's brand new or anything. So yeah, I, th- I think it's nice that they're using it uh, on the front. I'm trying to pull up a picture of the full kit here. Um, so right now, from what it looks like, light blue shorts, light blue socks. Think of the bayous. Um, it's a light blue trimming. Um, I'll, I'll try to get a picture up here. But, um, Tim, you see the whole ensemble of the uniform. What yeah. is your full thought on, on that there? I, I like it a lot. Um, I'm glad that they showed us right off the bat that it was blue shorts uh, because of the whole with the Bayou kids like having white shorts and then yellow shorts and, and everyone was like, oh, I'm team white shorts. I'm team yellow shorts. Now we don't we don't have that. Hopefully I think it's just blue now. So no one has to worry about it. You don't have to like trash, you know, the, the Twitter admin of like what color shorts are they wearing today type of thing. <laughs> yeah, but come on, Tim. That was all the fun. It, it was pretty fun, but, uh, you know, when they wore the white shorts, it was game over. So, we, you know, we don't have to worry about that now. Uh, you know, I, I think um, especially with how the back of the jersey, the, this new one is gold, um, the fact that it's the, the blue and the gold together, um, it just screams union to me. So I, I really like it. Um, I do wish the socks had more gold. I said that earlier, but uh, you know, a lot uh, of that it, too. It is, uh, it is what it is. I think it, the socks kind of blend in with the shorts, but uh, here we go, guys. There it is. There it is, right there. See, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. That was your best I, I analysis it, yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a, like, it's not so. It's not like powdery blue. It is a it is that lighter blue that they have been working with. Yeah. But again, it's the dark accents. It's the dark. It's it's the it's the stripes down the shorts and on the socks. Yeah, you're right. For me, yes. it's the, it's they're going with and then you look at the numbers. The numbers are that dark blue. They are they are going they are going with this aesthetic that while the light or that light blue is going to be priming the jersey, that that dark blue is going to be in you know in the the lettering and the and the striping and i I think that's what pulls for me for me pulls it together i i i I personally like the shorts and socks but i i do think that gold would look better um with this i i just think that's just way too much on for the bottom half there uh way too much blue but you'll you'll definitely do with it and it'll also look good when you know you're you're winning in CCL, MLS Cup playoffs, and you know all that all that good stuff there. Leagues uh, Cup, Open Cup, <laughs> Shield, we're winning it all. It we won it all. Good. We're coming for it all. Yeah. Uh, I remember CCL 2021 when the color shorts were being juggled around. Yeah, so Saprisa, we wore the white, right? Yeah, white with the blue. And then when we went into MLS, we wore yellow. Yeah, yeah, it got mixed around. It was a. Uh... So is Zach still team white shorts? I'm, I'm assuming so. I'm assuming so. I'd have to assume that so. man went. Listen, when, when that man has a thought, he will never shy away. For, like he'll, he'll never change his mind, essentially. Oh, he'll double so, down. Oh. <laughs> I love Zach for he'll double down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that. that that's our man, Zach there. Um, all right. So that obviously is the best kit release of them all, right? <laughs> I mean, there, there's just no debate about that. Um, but we had a lot of kit releases, except for Montreal. But um, what I want to ask of you guys is I want to start off with the best and the worst. So we're going to start off with the best. Uh, Justin, I want to get get from you. For you, in the league, what is the best kit release bin? 
So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have my my one, and then I'm gonna have uh, it as an honorable mention because <laughs> it was very very tough. Um, there were some good jerseys. There were some very bad jerseys. Um, the one for me, and once once again, this team knocking it out of the park with these concepts and you know the videos tying it together so perfectly. And god damn, does it look good? And it 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 makes me come this close. And now, now listeners, if you if uh, this close to breaking my no buying an other MLS team kit because this this shit is absolutely top notch. It is the Seattle Sounders Bruce Lee no. kit. My lord, this thing is just phenomenal. First of all, I love I love the red. I I I am a sucker. You know when when Portland did red when that that dark red way back. You know. It, it, it's it's great. You have you know the dragon print all over, running around the sides, running across the jersey. Again, with the accent, you have that yellow accent on the on the sponsor on the top. I'm assuming the let you on the lettering. You can see it, it is so it's it's perfect because the jersey itself speak like it's it's loud, but it's also it doesn't detract from the overall pull of the jersey. It is just phenomenal, to, you know, top to bottom, and, and and you know, a year after they they launched the Jimi Hendrix kit, they come in with with another banger. And goddamn Seattle, you know, you are you are making it harder and harder to not buy that kit. Um, uh, uh, as I said, my honorable mention, and they've been pretty good with it too the last few years. The Portland Timbers. Whoa! Look I if you look at that kit, you'll see kind of what I believe it was kind of like an argyle style pattern, kind of going around the the, the the kit. You know, I think that's another kit where it the 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 design is understated, but yet it pops. The you know the color scheme itself again, dark green is a that's one thing I love about Portland. They're, they're the dark green that they use in their logos and stuff is perfect. It is a perfect that kind of forest green is a very perfect, you know, tone to go with for their home kits. I think it it just works. It's it's again like the Seattle kit where the design speaks for itself and it it it's, it it pops without distracting you too much to the point where it's like okay, this is a pretty fire kit. So. My top being Seattle Sounders, but honorable mention absolutely goes to the Portland Timbers. Uh, and, and, you know, Portland's another team that always constantly has a good one. Um, it's, I want to ask, guys, because, like, I do like the concept, but what does Bruce Lee have to do with Seattle? And, I, and where I'm going with this, like, if we were to kind of bring that here, if the union were to do, like, a, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of an, uh, like, a, like a Chuck Norris-themed uh, kit, would how would that be received here in Philly? It wouldn't make favorite. much sense. I, I I would have to look into what the, the 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 relevance to the Seattle area is because I know I thought Bruce Lee lives in San Francisco. Um, so that's kind of a an an interesting one. Um, like at least Jimi Hendrix, I I know had ties to the area, so like that 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 makes sense. Uh, I would have to. Definitely do a little more digging to uh, to understand what Bruce Lee has to do with Seattle. I mean, I think I can come up with some dope ideas for <laughs> sure, for sure. If, if that if that is the case, that is for sure. Um, Tim, your favorite kit so far in the MLS? I mean, my favorite was definitely the Seattle one, but I can't take that. Um, so uh, my my next favorite is actually I was a little surprised by it. I saw a leak of it a few weeks ago and I was like, Oh, okay. That, that looks pretty good. And it's a team that uh, I believe used to wear this color a little bit more often, but kind of went away from it. And it's RSL's Jersey because it's a gold Jersey with the red and blue accents. 
And if you look at their crest, it's sort of like a, a reverse of their crest where the, the RSL has always been gold and then there's blue and red around it. And this new shirt is full gold, but then the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt have red and blue accents. So it's, it's totally like a reversal. Um, they're kind of leaning into it like, uh, we, you know, we got to be golden. I, I wanted to look it up because I thought it would look really good if they had like the RSL, like red shorts with the gold, but they went full gold which I'm not mad about because I wish the union had something like this. I really do. I love gold jerseys. I, I just wish there was more of it. Um, I think it's pretty clean. It's it's simple, but it's clean. Um, and it's still a lot better than other MLS teams who put in little. This is giving union. This is giving very union. Right? Like Yeah, very, very <laughs> old, right? old school union. Uh, right? I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I like it. I, I don't but, uh, so – I, I did I did do a little digging now quickly as to why uh, Bruce Lee uh, and Bruce Lee Kid. Yes, uh, he, so he was born in uh, in in San Francisco, but he did move to Seattle mm. uh, where he finished high school and went to the University wow. of Washington. So he go. does have ties uh, to the area. So you know, I mean, I mean, you know, Seattle going back with Seattle, like I said, Johnny, you know. We we you, you know we we gotta start we gotta start pushing you know the Philly the Philly uh you know the Philly legends on uh on 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 here like it, it's we so you we got a lot of Philly Swing. legends especially music musically and if we're going you know pop an actor like we, there's Philly is is up and up and down he's, he's got a you know a number of inspirations. What you're saying is we need a Fresh Prince kit. <laughs> that wasn't that was gonna be up there but i, I that would be uh, sick you could do some like, sick things with that i yeah. I, th I think i think you you yeah I, that would probably be a start that people would would probably gravitate to yeah i could imagine so i mean listen bruce brought it up wawa kit i mean <laughs> i don't know how you can make that work with the bimbo but um it, it, no yeah you'd have to start i mean they have the, the yellow in their logo but you you would be varying off of like predominantly uh, red, like yeah, it's yellow and red and black. Like, there's a, yeah. it's a weird that'd be, that'd be uh, that'd be interesting. But I'm in with Ryan here, give me the damn Rocky, bro. But what, what does that mean, though? Like, <laughs> right, straight, like, gray. What, what's the like, what, what's the design? I understand you have what color scheme you have, it's just you gray. Can go with you can go with yellow or light blue or dark blue or black. But where do you like, what do you like, yeah, like, where? <laughs> I just I can't think like I, I've I've seen like four or five of the Rocky movies. I just I can't yeah. picture what on earth that would what that would entail. I mean, I'm the only thing I can think of is the Italian stallion colors, the black and the yellow. Um, yeah, but yeah. I mean, we did Bethlehem Steel did that. so you could do like the Bethlehem Steel kind of template: black shirt, yellow writing, white shorts. So you know. what, what you're saying is, is that we the union needs to sell all of these new jerseys so that way we can get an alternate jersey, a third so we, jersey. What you're, Tim, <laughs> also what you're saying is I'm in. we need to bring the steel kit back. Yes, essentially, yeah. So that is one of my main things, um, and I've talked about this with the club as well, is that um, I, I do wish that we could bring back some retro jerseys. And I do know that like when you're a young club, like the union is kind of tough to do that. Yeah. Um, but you know, even Bethlehem, the Philadelphia Adams, the fury stuff like that, that would be pretty sick to have bring back as he goes. I you know I get jealous. Like when the galaxy pull out those sexy throwbacks, um, you know, uh, who's yeah. the, 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 no, who's the, the other team just recently brought out some sexy throwbacks. Well, but, so, so Johnny, you, uh, that the the retro look uh would also bring into uh my well again i'm gonna go i have a tie for the worst because <laughs> there were two uh bad kits okay so uh, we i'm just gonna go with that one right off the bat uh okay. Do you, it. you talk about the galaxy bringing stuff back and you know a lot of the 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 older teams are bringing stuff back well, you know how there's been some, you know, the you know, the KC had the wizard, uh, the Wiz. And <laughs> the, the, well, you know, once upon a time, there was a team known as the Dallas Burn. They did not do that. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. They, they did, and they they had so much potential with the color scheme from the Dallas Burn. 
No, they did not bring that. What is this? It, it is. Oh, you, you won't be able to see it on the field. That's what it is. That's you have, it is. You it's have, a white you t-shirt. Had, you had a chance to make a damn good burn throwback kit, and it looks like you ran out of ink on the printer. <laughs> like, like what in the ever loving fuck is that? Why does like, this club give broke boy energy? You know what I mean? You, like they, they, you, they're not broke. <laughs> God, they they were so close. They have the burn logo. They all they have need the to co- do, all they need they're, to do is make those fire the fire parts of that on there red or orange. Or and just it, make it times darker, better. make it darker, make it like make that pop a bit more. It, like you had no or like it could have been a red a black jersey with red or red yeah. with a black like you could have done so much more with this. You, the Dallas Burn is an icon. That logo, that thing is an is iconic in this league's history. And you done fucked it up, Dallas. Well, Justin, yeah. I'll say this: if the shorts look good, this there is a redeeming factor. No, that, yeah, but the jersey's still trash. Like the shorts can look good, but <laughs> like the the maybe FC Dallas should focus less on clapping back at uh yeah Philadelphia and focus yeah. on the fact that yeah. they're trash and their jerseys are now Those trash. Are um, but this jersey, I, I said I had a tie. Now this other one, my God, like you know, if you uh, you know, you ever you ever ha- you ever have a pool, and you know, kind of the season where where it's it's getting, you know, you gotta close the pool, and it, it, or you gotta open it up, and you pull off the cover, <laughs> and you see a whole layer of pond scum right across the pool. Imagine if you left a t-shirt in that for a few months, kind of washed it off, and then went, you know what? I'll wear this on the soccer field. Well, LAFC decided (laughs) this is going to be what we're going for because, my God, again, like, LAFC's kit, I I look at it and just go, it's, again, it is, like, if you left (laughs) a shirt in a, in a pool that you just opened for the season. And it's been sitting in all the filth for several months. It, it, it's just so bad. Imagine they like, didn't win the MLS cup. Jeez. Like the black, the, the black accent. Okay, fine. But like, no, that's not, what, it doesn't make it what any the Fuck. What the fuck is that? It's it just cute. looks like, what is the color? Like it's green. No, Technically it's, it's mold. It's mold. It is genuinely, <laughs> Mold like Mold I, the FC. I can't. I cannot believe you went. Yeah, let's Ryan's look like. This. Let's look like we haven't washed our jerseys in several months. <laughs> Just like, like, and there's been several good kits, but like FC Dallas and LAFC. What in the fuck were you guys thinking? You got like, if you guys have a, a fan design council, y'all need to fire. <laughs> You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Um, Tim was talking about RSL in the All Gold. Tim, the, if if there was a club that was going to pull it out, I would think it's LAFC. Yeah, after the season they just had, sure. All gold. Yeah. All gold. All gold would have been solid. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, guys, I, I don't know what this is. This is this is not good for sure. It, Tim. It's as our as our our good buddy uh, Alexis and the Cooligans would say. It's basura. It, it is trash. Garbage. <laughs> Like just ri- just ridiculous. Straight do up. better. Do better, LAFC do and FC better. Dallas. Do better. Tim, give me give me the worst of the worst here. So my tie for the worst was Dallas and LAFC. Once again, Justin stealing all my things. Um, so I'm gonna scramble real quick and go through uh, MLS's Instagram. No, uh, but, <laughs> but seriously. Um, the one other one that was just super underwhelming to me was Atlanta. It's literally the same kit. It's, it's the five stripes. Kit. It, 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 um, it, it's, it's not five stripes. Thing. It's it's, it's like three stripes and then the side hanging. Oh, right yeah, you're right, right. Actually, I didn't even realize that. I just assumed it was the same because it, the, at oh, first it's, glance it looks the same. But no, yeah, but, you're right. I, Tim, you're I was, right. I was, I I do think there's something behind. I feel like Atlanta is trying to go back to square one, and so I think that That's they're trying. Oh, so they're going to bring Tata back? 
<laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah, he's available, we're right? Back, Might as well. We're, we're, back Diggy. Like, we're gonna go back to square one, guys. Well, well Mickey's worth what? Like almost 50, 60 mil now. Yeah, he's, Mickey's not yeah, walking point, back yeah. to that door. I mean, <laughs> another another club that that looks like they put minimal effort into anything that they do is uh, New England Revolution because I feel like they've mm. had before, which is just a white shirt with like the red, almost like a red sash. Well, uh, 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 you know, Johnny, you would appreciate uh, speaking on that jersey. Uh, Look up the look up the tweet that Felipe Cardenas uh, did about about that jersey. I okay. now cannot picture this kit without saying it in that manner. It, it is I, first like, off. Oh my god! This is like right? River Plate. Yeah. So that that's if you look at Felipe's. It's it's tweet, it's River Plate. But it also, is, New England has done this before. It's the same. Like they've done. That is this so time. bad. Yeah. Oh my god! So I told him to do this. It, it, in in my in my best uh, God, this could be terrible. In my best uh, uh, New York accent, you know, re, 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 no, re, we have a plate. <laughs> <laughs> like as soon as, and he just said, "River Plate, Boston." Like, dude, oh, but like you were just sharp. now a walking just shit show. <laughs> like, why would we you think to do this? <laughs> oh my god, they are so getting roasted in Argentina right now. <laughs> like, and that's the thing. All those like, audios. It oh like as soon as as soon as I saw that, I was just like, I, you know, I I I tagged our our our, our good buddy. <clears throat> Tommy, and it was just like, cause he's a he's a massive River Plate fan, and I'm just like Tommy, you, you got you, yeah, you don't have to be a Union fan anymore. You can support River Plate New England. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny that you guys do mention that because I definitely came in here uh, ready to kill. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right now so everyone can see because I, I I I definitely need to show this before. I was ready to to kill the Red Bull. Um, because <laughs> you, and they obviously barely that kit. What the hell? <laughs> well, number one, this looks very much like a Colombian soccer kit. But what kills me yeah. is that I wish Colombia would do this. Like, I like the, the the blue like accent there, like above the Red Bull, and like I'm just like, how did we not come up with this? We have Adidas. Like, we could use this template. Like, if we wanted to, but you know, Red Bull beat us to it. So there we go. Hey, never say never. Maybe, maybe that's what they're gonna do next. You know, but that would just make Adidas look bad. Cause here we go again, just recycling templates. That's um, what Adidas and Nike do, though. That is <laughs> what they do. That is so true. Crazy. Oh, and, uh, I will say a, a a jersey that I think I I I like something that was was solid, but and 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 it makes me laugh that. Uh, Orlando is not the only uh, purple uh, yes. club in, in in the MLS. Uh, Charlotte's new kit is not bad. I I will I will oh, say I will say it it's done it a good is, job so far in the league. It's it's very basic. It, it 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 doesn't. It's not over the top. I think like RSL's kit. It is it is they they there stuck with it. They stuck with it oh. in one color. And with a, you know, with like with always, it's purple with like that dark green accent. Like they stuck with a main color and they went with it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like RSLs is gold. Yeah, like you see, like okay, you see, you see, you see, you see the, the purple. You have the like, and you have some blue. Like I, so, they stuck with a simple, simple, simple design. They were like, hey, let let's just change the color up a bit. I I think that's that's that is solid. I think that's a solid solid kit. Very, very simple, but not bad at all. Yeah. I just like the color combination more than anything. Mm-hmm. I, the yeah. only thing I, I will say I do not love the pink. I like it. Okay. I, oh. I think on the top, like, I would have no problem if that was the accent color, like around the uh, collar and, the, sh- and the, the short. But on the top, I would have rather have gone with the with the blue. Like I think that's my only criticism. If you flip that, it's a solid kit. Otherwise, here's the point, guys. Like we just saw a lot of different stuff for a lot of the different for the teams. Very different for what these teams usually do. But this is what I'm talking about. As a young league, we have to take these risks. We have to step outside the box. 
You don't need to play it safe and give us a freaking white tee every single year for an away kit or just a plain kit. But like, you know, we just saw what Charlotte did. We just saw what Seattle did. It's just about listening to what people want and stepping out of the box. Like you don't have to follow whatever conformance that you ever that you decided to, to follow. But I, I, I'm I'm happy that we decided to take these steps because this is important as a young league. This is how you get beautiful kits like you see around the world. And, and you know Justin's closet can attest to as well. <laughs> I I hey I've I've been I've been pretty good since I you know I've I have been a a quote unquote fully fledged adult living you know, on my own for, <laughs> for a few years now. I, I I've I've been smarter with my jersey purchases. I will say that much. Uh, two words for everyone out there: DHK. It's a it's a blessing and a curse. In the <laughs> right. I want to give love to our, our our little brothers down south because I do think this was nice. I I like the DC United ones, and now you know to Justin's point. Now we have another club with white, black, and and pink. So. Um, I the only thing I would have I would have done differently for this kit, I would have either put a bit more uh, of because I know this is the cherry blossoms. I, if they had done a bit more with, on the on the the the, the branches on, on on the blossoms themselves, <clears throat> if they like if there's something to pop a little bit more, I think the idea is there. I think it's just a little faded, like it, it just feels a little bit lacking. I love I love the design. I love the idea. It's just just a little off. Absolutely. All right, um, guys. Real quick, uh, before we sign off, Uni did make a signing. They did sign on the um, the draftee. We signed a draftee, guys. Holden Trent. Uh, for hold on, hold on. I'm, I got the university. I got the university down. It's it's something I've never even heard of. Uh, it is. Uh, I'm blanking now. I just had the the university, um, but very small school, I believe High Point, High yeah. Point University. There we go. Yep. Um, but look, he's pretty young. Um, obviously, you know, for me, like we talk, we used to talk about all the time, Justin. Like I always felt like Matt Freeze is the future of this club, and obviously he's gone now. And there, you know, I heard good things about Holden Trent coming out of preseason. You know, he did good enough to be the third goalkeeper. Um, but as far as the future goes, do you think it's on the roster? Or do you think that we're going to wait and see with some of these kids going forward? Tim, what do you, what do you think about the, the goal tending? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's, it's Andre Blake until he's not with the club anymore. And that it kind of sucks because we lost out on what freeze could be. Um, I mean, we'll see him firsthand. Like I'm assuming he's going to be pushing for those minutes at NYCFC. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it really is Andre Blake. Like he could be an MLS lifer, like, and that's fine. <laughs> like there's no, no problem with that. Uh, I mean, having Joe Bendick behind him, another solid veteran um, for this young kid to learn from, to learn from goalkeeper of the year and best goalkeeper in MLS and a seasoned MLS vet um, is only going to help him. So, I mean, who, who knows if, uh, if he's going to be the future at goalkeeper, but He's going to be the third guy on the roster for now, um, and and he's going to learn and develop in one of the best clubs in MLS. So hey, I listen, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We've developed some pretty good goal t- keepers that are out in the league. Matt Freeze, uh, Romero, um, yeah. McCarthy, but uh, <laughs> even even uh, Zach McMath. Yeah, Zach Zach McMath, McMath. A, a main a mainstay now with RSL. Yeah. 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 Um, what, what what how are you feeling about this? You know, for me, most more so, Justin. It's about like international break this year for Andre or, you know, knock on wood, God forbid injuries. What do you do now? Like do you rely on Bendik for, you know, good amount of games? Um, I think so. I think you'll, I mean, Andre, even in the games where you rotate, uh, you've seen Andre in there. I think maybe in like leagues cup, you might, you might give Andre a break. Um, it, it listen, uh, we, you know, I love that phrase, but you know, <laughs> I, I mean, it's a great problem to have. Andre Blake staying here as long as he has, you're not going to supplant Andre Blake. I mean, he is all time. I'm going to say an all time top five MLS keeper. Yeah. When he retires, he will absolutely be in the upper echelons, the Mount Rushmore of keepers in in this league. Uh, it, it, you know, it's it's tough. I think that's a tough person to get past. Um, I, I wasn't surprised because. You started see like one they hadn't signed anybody else 
And I think the point, if you were to sign another vet or a young guy, you would have. Um, but you also started to notice around the league, uh, the super draft picks were actually signing around this time. Like yeah. there were a, a flux in the last week or so. There's been an influx of, 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 of super draft signs signing that is usually outside of like the first top couple picks. It usually takes a little bit for those contracts really to kind of get finalized and, and get, and get official. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I was, I wasn't too terribly surprised. Clearly he impressed enough to earn the minutes. I assume based on this, um, that he'll be the keeper for, uh, you two. At the mm. very minimum, because Matt Freeze was the keeper for yeah. you two last season. He was pretty much their uh, captain too. <laughs> yeah, so like I think that'll be that'll certainly be a, a big case. And again, you learn from an, a solid MLS vet and Joe Benda guy. He's been around the league, guy who knows what it takes to be a, a starting keeper. Mm-hmm. And like I said, one of the best keepers probably of all time. And and Andre Blake. I mean, the, I think. I think that's an amazing player to learn from, and I think that's also why Matt Freeze was confident to go out and, and go for the you know go to NYCFC because you 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 learn from a guy like Andre Blake for that many years, you <clears throat> you you're gonna pick up on, on on a few things. So I think that's I think the union, regardless if if Holden Trent is the guy for the future, you at least are are developing a, a solid keeper. Definitely would like to see him play. Um, Tim, we'll end off with this question here. Oof. You think it'll be Bedoy's last season? Um, I think it kind of has to be. Uh, <laughs> like, like, right? Like, like, like I, I don't know. Like, we kind of said this last year, too, and then he had, like, one of his best seasons that he's had a, as a player, and he, like, scored what he was, like, fifth on the team in scoring. So, like, he was vastly important. He was one of the shuttler midfielders who actually made the formation work. So when he went out of the lineup, it was rough and it, it probably cost the union, the shield and maybe the cup, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, who am I to say that, but what he signed a one year extension or whatever it was, or a new mm-hmm. contract for just one year. So, yeah, I got to think that he's, he's thinking about life after playing on the field um, now. And uh, I mean, you know, I, I think he still plays a good amount of minutes this year and is obviously he's the captain. He's like one of the most important players on this team. Um, I already built a statue, it. man. Just build it. <laughs> build Just a statue. It. Hey, it. Let's, let's win a few things this year. And then uh, we can pick from one of those images of him lifting a few different trophies to put out in front of the stadium. You know, Oh, can we get goosebumps thinking about it? <laughs> Justin, do you think it's the last season? Um, yeah, I, I said this before that it, if, that if they had won the cup, I feel like he yeah. would he would have you know pulled a uh, 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 was uh, who who was a uh, um, Kansas City's uh, backup quarterback that just like literally retired a uh, uh, Chad Henney or whatever was it literally retired Chad Henney literally retired is like they won the, the they won the Lombardi Trophy. He's like all right, I'm retiring. Like I think if if the Union had won. But Ali's, Ali's, I don't kind of know. The sunset, and it may have been a, yeah, you know, I think, I feel like he would have done that and then like joined the coaching. Like, I feel like coaching. only if he played though, because like he didn't play in the game, you know, I just feel like, yeah, like he, he signed that extension back when that injury first kind of like came up. And at that point, we're like, wait, what, what's going on? Like, is he not going to be around for much of the last bit of the season? And that's sort of what happened. And now he's like, he's got one more year to ride it out. Like, I think he wants to go out a winner and he wants to be on the field to win. You know, you know what, Allie, we all do. We all want to see you win. We all want to pr- parade down wherever our parade will be. But... As, as, uh, as, as, you know, as I said, as Leo said, and, and Wolf on Wall Street, yeah, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Staying right here. That's right, man. That's right. All right, guys. It's going to do it for another episode of Duke by the River. We'll, ha- we'll be back, guys. Obviously, Nitty Gritty the next week. We'll obviously have a match to talk about. So uh, it's it's crazy. We're, we're actually here. We're definitely here. But, uh, guys, seriously, thank you so much for watching the, this week's episode of Duke by the River. Make sure you guys do hit that like button. Subscribe for more live viewings. Find us where you stream podcasts from Apple, Google, and Spotify. Find us under Duke by the River podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, Justin, alcohol distribution agent Friedberg. That is Tim Lovinguth. Of course, I go by the name of Eddie Barcelo Philly, and we're telling you guys to dupe on. Getting close to the season, guys. <laughs>